Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 22nd of October, 1895, the Granville to Paris Express train ran across the station platform, crashed through a 60 centimetre wall, and fell 10 metres to the street below after it overran the buffer stop at the Gare Montparnasse terminus in Paris. Posters showing the train standing on its nose have since become an obligatory feature on the walls of many student bedrooms. 131 passengers were on board the train as it left its final stop behind schedule. The heavy train of six passenger coaches, three luggage vans and a post van was being driven by Guillaume-Marie Pellerin. Despite 19 years of experience, he was concerned that he was running late as he approached Montparnasse. In an attempt to claw back some time, he drove the train much faster than normal into the station and applied the Westinghouse air brake which operated the brakes of each carriage in an attempt to slow down the train from its high speed. Unfortunately, the Westinghouse brake failed and the locomotive's own brakes were insufficient to stop such a heavy train that was travelling at such high speed. The conductor on board was also preoccupied with paperwork and he realised the danger too late to be able to apply his own handbrake. As a result, the train ran through the buffer stop and crashed through the wall and fell to the street below. Falling masonry hit and killed a woman selling newspapers on the street outside, but amazingly she was the only person who died. The firemen, two guards and two passengers sustained injuries, but everyone else on board the train was completely unharmed. The driver was found guilty of driving too fast, and he was fined 50 francs. Thank you.